Okay, now let's talk about the continuity of a function. Okay, so we have got a function, which is f of x, and then we have got three functions, x plus 2, we have got those conditions, x has to be less than or equal to negative 1, then x squared, negative 1 is less than x, then x has to be less than 1. Then the third one is 3x plus 1, the condition is x, has to be greater than or equal to 1. Now, we want to sketch this function. How can we do it? Okay, so this is what we call, we can say it is piecewise function, then we want to graph it. Now, when it comes for graphing, we need just to understand or we need just to know the conditions which we have been given. In this case, we have these conditions. So now, these conditions are the ones which are going to be helping us to have the values which are going to, to put on what? The graph. Okay. So now, what we are going to, to, to do, we are going to start with this first condition. The first, uh, the first function, it is telling us to say x plus 2, then the values of x, they're supposed to be less than or equal to negative 1. So what we're going to do, we are going to, meaning the, the values of x, they're supposed to be less than or equal to 1. So they're going to start from 1 going down. Okay. So first we can have our graph. Before doing anything, let's have our graph. Okay. So if this is our graph, This is our graph. Okay, so we're going to put the values first. So now let's say the first one we want to put, we have our x as well as y here. Now, the condition is telling us to say from negative 1. So we're going to put negative 1 here, and then we're going to put negative 2, and I'm going to put negative 3. So I'm going just to, to use 3 points, that's all. But you can use even 4 if you want. But now we need to understand to say this condition is telling us that x has to be less than or equal to negative 1. Meaning that negative 1 is included. Now where there is negative 1 comma, what we are going to find the value of y is going to be a cross circle. It's going to be a cross circle because it is less than or equal to. But if it was just less than, or if it's greater than or less than, in this case, we are supposed to use an open circle. What I mean is that we are going to start, for example, in this case, we are going to have this guy as 1, but it is less than. It is less than. So if it is less than, meaning that we are going to put an open circle to show that it is not included. Okay? So in this case, we are going to say that this equation which we have, that was that is our equation, x plus 2. Now, in that equation, if we put negative 1 where there is x, what would be the value of y? So it's going to be negative 1 plus 2, which is going to be what? 1, meaning that this one is going to be 1. What if we put negative 2? If I put negative 2 here, where there is x, we are going to get 0. It's going to be negative 2 plus 2, which is going to be 0. What if I put negative 3? I'm going to get negative 1. Okay? That is what we have. Okay, now, the second part, or if you want, we can first plot, and then we are going to have the negatives here, we are going to have, uh, those are the negatives which we have. Okay, so we have those. And then here we have what? We can say this is our negative 1, this is negative 2, negative 3, then negative 4. Can just end there. Then here we are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's have 7. Then in y direction, since here we are going to expect to have big, big numbers, we can say we can have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, let's have 8. And then, um, here let's have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, negatives. So we can say that uh, that is negative, or that is 1, that is 2, that is 3, that is 4, that is 5, that is 6, that is 7. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we have 8. So here we are going to have negative 1, negative 
negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay, so now, the first one is telling us to say it's going to be what? Negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1 is this point. Now, we are saying that since it was less than or equal to, this point is supposed to be a cross circle, meaning it is included, so I'm going to put this, a dotted one. Okay? Now, negative 2, 0. Negative 2, 0 is which point? This is negative 2, 0. It's the same point. Then we have negative 3, 1, negative 1, this point, And then negative 1 is there, so it's this point. So it's just a matter of us connecting the points from this point all the way to, to that point. Okay, so we put this. Why am I putting the arrow? Because I don't know where it is ending. Okay, so this is supposed to be the, the closed one. Why? Because it is included. Because negative 1, comma, negative 1, comma 1, it is included. Now we go to uh, equation 2. Equation 2 we have, so we're going to have the same x as y and y. So what is the condition? The condition is that it is, neg it is uh, negative 1 and then we need to end where there's what? Where there's 1. You get it? So we have got negative 1. So we can say we have got 0 in there. And then we can say we have got what? We have we have 1. Now, we can say that this one, it is not included, but we're going to plug in. If I put 1 there, one negative 1 squared, I'm going to get 1. If I put 0, I'm going to get 0. If I put 1, what are we going to get? Okay? If I put 1, what are we going to get? If I put 1, we are going to get... Um, we are going to get 1. So we're going to come here and start now plotting there. So I've got negative 1, comma 1. Negative 1, comma 1, it is this point. Let me use different color. It is the same point which we had here. So it's going to be an open now. Although it can't. Let me use the lead. So it's going to be there. An open one. Then we have got 0, comma 0 is this point. Then we have got 1, comma 1 is this point. Okay. So this one is also an open circle. So it is an open which is going to go like this. Starting from there, then going there. So that is our our graph. What of the third one? So the third one we are going to do the same. We have got x as well as y, and then what is our x? Our x is greater than or equal to one. So we're going to start from one, and then you put two, three. Let's just have three points. So if I put one there, I'm going to get one. If I put one where there's x, it's going to be three times one. It's going to be one, one plus c. That one we're going to get 4. What if I put 2? 2 is going to be 2 times 3, 6. 6 plus C is going to be 7. What if I put 3? 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times C or 9 plus 1 is 10. So we have got the point 1, comma 4. So the X value is 1. And then we have got it, comma 4. It's this point. Let me use now white car. So it's this point. Okay. But that point we need to understand that it's going to be a closed one. Because negative or one and four is included, or it's one comma four. So one comma four, it is this line here. But it is included. Okay, I put the closed one, not the open one. But this one is an open one because it was not included. Okay, then we have two comma seven. This is our two. Then our seven is somewhere there. Okay. So we put our point there, and then we have got him 3, comma 10. So 3 is here, 10 we don't know where it is, but it's somewhere there. Okay, so meaning that our point is going to start from, from there, then we go it like that, then we put it that. So that is the graph. Okay, so this is how you can graph the what the piecewise function or continuity of the function. Now it's just a matter of you understanding the concept. Get the condition. If the condition is less than or equal to, meaning that that one is going to have a closed one. Okay? If it is just less than or, maybe it's just less than or greater than, it's supposed to be an open one, meaning that point is not included. So that is how you can graph. Now, let's see how can we solve when we have, when we have been asked to find, or maybe they ask us to say, is this, con is this function continuous at C 
is equal to negative 1. Now, we know that for, for a function to to be uh, to be continuous is supposed to be the, these three conditions are supposed to be satisfied. So we have got it. f of a has to be defined. Okay. At the same time, limit as x approaches, let's say, limit. So in this case, let's use c. Okay. So we're going to say that the condition is that the function of f of c has to be. Let me say just it has to be defined has to be defined okay the second one is um, limit as x approaches c of f of x has to exist has to exist what i mean here is this we are going to have two points so we're going to have another one meaning limit as x approaches c from the left side of f of x has to be equal to limit as x approaches c from the left uh, right side of f of x so if this condition is satisfied then we can say that um, this function is what continuous at that particular point okay so now <clears throat> let's see meaning that if these two guys are if, if limit as x approaches c from the left side is the same as the limit as x approaches c from the right side then we can conclude to say uh, limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to f of c meaning the, the function is continuous at that particular point so let's see so we're talking about the a so we're going to do this so we are going to, we want to test if this con, this function is continuous at x is equal to or c is equal to negative 1. So c is equal to negative 1 we are going to check the conditions. Okay? Negative 1 where 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 do we think negative 1 is included? Which function is telling us that negative 1 is included? So you check the conditions. The first equation is telling us that x is less than or equal to negative 1 meaning negative 1 is included. But the second equation is telling us that negative 1 is less than x then x is less than 1 meaning negative 1 is not included in that case what of the third uh, function x is greater than or equal to 1 meaning negative 1 is not included therefore if we want to test the first condition which we are saying f of negative 1 is going to be equal to we are going to get the first equation that's where x is, or where negative 1 is included so we are going to say x plus 2 now let's plug in the value of negative we are going to have negative 1 plus 2. So what are we going to have? We're going to have 1. Okay? That is what we have. Now let's go to the second one. The second one we have got two conditions. Limit as x approaches now it's going to be negative 1 from the left side. Okay? So from the left side. So which function are we going to get? The first one, the second one, the third one. Now here we need to be very much careful. We are going to get a uh, which function it is from the left if we check if we check this function it's either we can get the first one or the second one okay because the first one it is from the left side it is also less than or equal to but we can just get this one we get this one although it's the same thing if I get that one or even if I get this one let's see because this they also both conditions are telling us that we have negative 1 from the left side okay so what if I get the second equation so the second equation is x squared okay now let's plug in where there's x the value of what we put negative 1 now we square it we are going to get 1 what if I get the first equation it's going to be the same thing okay so you can get either of two you can choose one or the second one so I've gotten that one now let's let's test the limit as x approaches it limit as x approaches negative 1 from the light side now okay so from the light side which function are we going to get this one is not telling us from the left side as well as but this one if we can see this function is telling us that it's in between negative 1 and then what to what to positive 1 so we can get this function as well it also works. 
Okay? It is from the left side. But it is telling us that it is less than it is less than what? 1. Meaning that there is in between there are some numbers there. There is negative 1, what so we can get the first for the first equation. So we can say that it's going to be what? It's going to be we are going to get the same one which is going to be x squared. So if I plug in the value of x, I'm going to get the same negative 1 squared. I'm going to get 1. So now, as you can see, if the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the left side of f of x is equal to limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right side of f of x, meaning if these two guys are the same, meaning the limit exists, then we check now, are these guys same as in the first condition? Yes, we are also getting one. Therefore, you can say that limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x is equal to what? f of x, meaning that the limit is continuous at c is equal to 1. Okay, now let's see if we are going to get the same one, let's say that we have been asked to say is the function continuous at x is equal or at c is equal to uh, positive 2. Let's try. So now, if we have 2, well, let's say at c is equal to 2. or oh, 1, sorry. Let's put 1. So if we have 1, and then we are going to say that which one are we going to get? Which function are we going to get? Okay. So now, what we need to understand here is, um, we are going to start with the same one. Which function, which condition is giving us that x or, or c is equal to 1? The first one is saying that it's less than or equal to negative 1. It can't be equal to 1. The second one, it can't be because it is less than. But what of the third one? The third one is, is telling us that, x is greater than or equal to 1, meaning 1 is included. Okay? So we can say that the first condition is f of 1, we are going to get the third equation, which is going to be this. So you plug in 1, and then we are going to get this. We are going to get 4. Okay? So we get 4. What of the third condition, or the, the second condition? So we are going to start now. Limit as x approaches 1 from the left side. Now, 1 from the left side, which equation are we going to get? Okay? So, which equation are we going to get? Or, uh, x, 1 from the left side. We can't get the third equation because the third equation is telling us that it's greater than or equal to 1. Okay? What of the second equation? What of the second equation? The second equation, as we can see, this condition is telling us that x is less than 1. I Meaning we can get the same one. So we are going to have x squared. And then where there is x, we put what? 1. So it's going to be 1 squared, which is going to be 1. Okay? What of the, the light side? We are going to have limit as x approaches 1 from the light side. Which one are we going to get? At this case, we can also get the third one. Okay? So the third one is going to be is 3x plus 1. So if I plug in there, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get... 4, which is going to be 4. So, as you can see, limit as x approaches 1 from the left side of f of x is not equal to limit as x approaches 1 from the right side of f of x. So, if this is not equal to this one, meaning that the limit doesn't exist. So, you say limit, limit doesn't exist. Okay, after writing this now, you can write the, the, the last condition to say limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is not equal to is not equal to f of x. Or you can say f of what? We have f of 1. You can put there f of 1. Meaning, the function is not continuous at c is equal to 1. Okay, so this is what we need to understand under continuity of the function.